Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to fix your PostgreSQL database performance automatically with the help of Cursor and QuerySharp MCP. So first of all, what is QuerySharp? So QuerySharp is a desktop app that you download on your computer and that will be monitoring your PostgreSQL performance and automatically fix performance issues. When I say performance issue, I mean two types of, um, of fixes. First one is missing indexes. So QuerySharp is automatically going to say, okay, I scanned your database, I saw your production um, uh, behavior, and here's the missing indexes that will uh, largely improve your performance. And secondly, there are query rewrites. So this is where it's not an index problem, but just the query is, is written in, uh, in a sub-optimized way. And Query Shop will tell you, uh, okay, you should write it that way. So the app uh, is set up a new computer, and uh, you you have access to every fix. So here is what we're going to achieve. This is a schema that I made representing uh, what happens in real life when the monitoring is not really here and things are not really uh, well made. When there is a database performance problem time passes and users complained. Really often the first sign unfortunately that you have is user complaining, then developer investigates, developer have to find that it is a performance, uh, a, a database performance issue and um, find the problematic query and then they have to use their SQL knowledge that not everyone has in high level and uh, find a fix. So missing index, uh, change the way to query your database or anything. They implement the fix and then you can have a good experience. So there are two problems in this uh, situation. The first one is that uh, during all this time, users are having a bad experience because you have to investigate and find the fix and test it um, before the, the app is uh, performant again. And second problem is that also during all this time, developers are focusing on, on this issue and not on uh, important things like adding uh, nice features to the app. Here is what we are going to achieve instead. So when there is a database performance problem, you just say, OK, Cursor, can you fix my database? Or even when you don't know if there is a performance problem, you just say, OK, Cursor, just look if there is any problem, and if there is any, just fix it, and then Cursor implements the fixes. You just don't have to, to look at it. Um, okay, so, um, just to understand exactly how it works, so Cursor is aware of your database eventual problems, thanks to the MCP of QuerySharp, and QuerySharp knows your database. So now, uh, how are we going to, to do all this? So first you have to go to QueryShop's website. So here, QueryShop.com. You go download and then you choose your platform. Once you make the download, you will have something like this. So I have already set up the, the database uh, uh, for me. Um, when, you, when you enter the app, you'll have to sign in and then you have to set up your database. So this is uh, explained uh, in there. You just have to, to choose a nickname and then set the, the, DB, the DB URL. And then you're ready to go and you'll land on this screen. So in this screen, you will see uh, the, the most uh, time consuming queries. Uh, just don't look at the times here because this is a demo database. So there's no really thing to really optimize. But you will see your long queries here. Um, you will also, also see if uh, some are already well optimized or if some have uh, important fix, uh, critical fixes or suggestions. Uh, so if we go to see this one, oh yeah, this is, this is a good example because we have one index missing and one query rewrite. So here, uh, query shard just analyzed the query. It analyzed the metrics here. So you have every, every metrics that, like the, the time the query take, uh, took uh, in, in average and all this. And it says, okay, you've got this fix. So it's in this column, you should add a bit index. So this one is relatively simple. Uh, you've got the index definition here. 
and the explanation. And also we have a query rewrite here. So it just says uh, to write this query in that way and the explanation in here. So this is not the exact same queries here. Here is the optimized one and here is the full one. So anyway, once you've uh, set up this, you don't even have to look at all this. The only thing you have to do is go here in your profile um, and copy your API key and go to cursor. So now if I open cursor, so here you have to go to cursor settings and tools and integrations. Okay, so once you're in tools and integrations here, you will have here uh, no MCP tool, or maybe you will already have some MCP tool, but whatever, you just click on add custom MCP. So you click there, you'll have this, and oh yeah, it's already, it's already uh, asking me to do it, but you, ask, you just add query sharp, command NPX, and arguments, uh, query sharp MCP, API key to replace, that's it. You don't have to download anything uh, or, or to do anything, just replace your API key, obviously, but then you're ready to go. So I will just cut the video and set my own API key. Okay, so it's all set. And when you're done, you'll just see Query Sharp with two tools enabled. So when you see this, it means that uh, you're ready to go and you can, you can start uh, asking Cursor to fix your database. So we'll have a demo here. So what I've opened, let me just put it here. Okay, I have here the cursor project that is um, the one we're analyzing in here. So we post Humprod, that's my demo database and we have the project here. So what you're going to do is you're going to just open a chat and the only thing you have to do is say like something like fix my database. The thing you have to add is using query sharp. So I'll add it using query sharp. Technically, cursor is able to find the MCP tool by himself, but uh, I just noticed that most of the time uh, cursor will try to, to find uh, things about the database by itself and it won't be efficient. So you have to say using query sharp. Then you send the message and let's see what it's going to happen. So yeah, he's calling the MCP tool here. He finds the project. So this project, he sees that uh, it's talking about uh, the same project that we're in and that it's the name of the, of the project in Query Sharp. And then he just gets the fixes. So you see, found eight database performance. And then uh, Cursor will uh, take the missing indexes and the queries to rewrite, find the entities or whatever, wherever it is uh, in, your, in your code base that uh, indexes can be added and just to do the job. Then you push to the production and your database is more performance. Let's wait a bit. Okay, you see, convert left joint to inner joint for better performance, add missing indexes, okay. So, yeah, he's, he's written me, like, uh, tips for later, 